Hi everyone, it's Justin, yeah. Anyway, so have another topic for today, and um, that is sometimes I feel alone, unappreciated, and unneeded. What's really going on here? What's going on? Um, so I think what it is on a practical thing is just that you are probably not within your correct niche, your correct audience. So an example of that would be uh, my wife uh, was having a really, really hard time finding um, finding people to really dig her artwork, you know, she went on some, uh, um, she went on a particular group, you know, that she thought would be for, for, for black artists and everything, you know, and, you know, her stuff is really, really good, I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm her husband, but genuinely, it's really, really, really good. Um, I have some link to the description below, or I'll have a link to um, her work below, and, you know, it's extraordinary stuff, but she wasn't getting any type of feedback on it. The only time she got some feedback on it was when it looked more like what was already presented there many times. So I found another group that was more interested in manga and anime and things like that, you know, and I said, check this group out. And so she got much better response, felt much better about everything, all those things. So really, it's about, you know, culture. So, you know, we can't even equate like things like race to culture, you know. I mean, you can in some sense, you know, but at the same time, you know, just because you're black doesn't mean that you're going to get along with everyone else that's black, you know what I'm saying. There's certain cultures within, you know, anything that uh, you're going to be cool with or you're not going to be cool with, you know, and it goes with any race, any type of whatever, you know, it's your audience. Who's your audience? So, you know, my wife was not going to find acceptance from her parents necessarily because that's not the kind of artwork that they're into, you know, so not that they don't love her or whatever, you know, it's just that they're not, not into that kind of thing. And so trying to seek validation from these different audiences was not helpful for her. So she had to find an audience that was more in tune with what she was wanting, what she was wanting to express and how they could share in that and everything else. So find your audience, you know, find your people to hang out with. Who are your people? What are you into? You know, what culture are you into? Um, and the Bible actually has a very, very practical thing along with that too. Uh, it's in Hebrews 10, 25. I'll read it to you guys real quick. Uh, not forsaking our own assembly together as the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. So in context, uh, there's, it reads other places where it says, do not forsake the assembling or you're supposed to gather in my name. Basically what that is really meaning is that there's a culture um, that brings people together and to forsake that culture gives you the feeling of being alone and mixed up and things like that because if you're a chicken and you're trying to be with an eagle you can imitate it you can try to be comfortable with it you can try to do whether or not you're the chicken or the eagle either way it's that dog's just not gonna hunt i know we're talking about chickens and dogs and everything you know but that dog's not gonna hunt eventually you know it's just it's just not gonna work out so and one's going to feel as though the other one's a burden on the other one or this is going to be a lot of confusion, so um, don't forsake that. Now, in the Christian context, it means that, you know, uh, you definitely need to be in fellowship and community with each other to exhort one another, uh, to encourage one another, to be within the culture, to, to be into the things of Christ, because uh, the day of his, um, in the context of this verse, the day of his coming is going to be approaching um, at some point in the future so therefore it really behooves us to stick together and to really um, minister to people and to minister to one another and to also uh, go all the way in with the things that Christ has told us to do you know so very very important stuff because we don't know <laughs> so um, but that's the practical things that will help you out in terms of feeling good feeling like you're in community Community is so important. I don't care what community you're part of. It's so important. You gotta get that through, and you gotta really understand that. That's even biblical. So, all right, guys. Love you. Talk to you later. And bye bye. Woo.